They say 40% of bearing failures are due to greasing the bearings, whether it's too much grease, not enough grease, wrong type of grease. We pull the grease plug. So on the bottom, right in this housing is where our bearing is living, right? So you got your grease dirt on top. This is where we would add our grease. On the bottom right here is a grease plug. We're gonna go ahead and remove that plug. Now we got that out. Now we're gonna start adding grease and we're gonna keep adding grease until we see our new grease start pouring out of the bottom of this grease plug. By doing that, we know that we've displaced all of that old grease out of there and we filled this cap with the appropriate amount of new grease and we know we didn't put so much grease in it that it busts the seal on the bearing because it's gonna come out of this plug before it destroys our bearing, right? Don't ever mix two types of greases. If you mix the two types of greases that are not similar, it'll cause the grease to liquefy in there and damage your bearing. So we'll go ahead and start greasing it and we'll see what we get out of this guy. Now I've got a blue grease in this grease gun, which is that mobile one grease. So there it starts coming. You see how black and discolored that is? I don't know how well that camera's picking that up, right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't look good. So even if this motor had been running, shutting it off, de-energizing, lock out, tag out. Now do this until I start seeing my new grease coming through, which will be a blue colored grease. Looks like I'm up still getting black, maybe starting to get a little bit of change in the color. Yeah, looks like it's starting to get blue now. Now you might, you might use a half a tube of grease on one motor. There you see there now, you now we've changed to blue. So now I know 100% I've got all brand new grease in here. I've pushed that old grease out of there and now I can put my plug back in. 